to Athens, but first a good meal at Sets Lounge in Singapore Airport Terminal 1. Lots of nice corners to chill in. Ready for a 12 hours red eye flight or a view full of islands. Let's go to the birthplace of civilization, Athens, the capital of Greece. It has an estimated population of over 3 million with 39 square kilometers, a city 19 times smaller than Singapore, yet many of classical civilization's intellectual and artistic ideas are originated here, and this city is considered to be the cradle of ancient civilization, with architectural gems, political ideas and sacred sites dating back to 2,500 years ago, which still remain as the legacy to the world. Entering Acropolis, the age of the city, in the second half of the 5th century BC, Athens, following the victory against the Persians and the establishment of democracy, took a leading position amongst the other city-states of the ancient world. In the age of thought and art flourish, transformed the rocky hill into a unique monument of literature and craft. The monumental entrance to the Acropolis, Propylaea, then the Erecteon, the Parthenon, and the small temple Athena Nike. On this hill were born democracy, philosophy, theatre, freedom of expression, and the speech, which provide to this day the intellectual and spiritual foundation for the world and its values. Raising and lowering of the flag when the sun rises and sets daily on Acropolis. The Acropolis monuments having survived for almost 25 centuries through wars, explosions and natural disasters, have adapted to different uses and the civilization myth and religions that flourish in Greece through time. And us witnessing all this just blew us away. Waiting for sunrise. 5 a.m. now in Athens. Surprisingly, we met a Singapore family waiting for sunrise too. In Greece, it seldom snow, while the summers can go up to 37 degrees Celsius and the nights are cool. The climate of the city permits outdoor activity all year round. So now I'm at the first Olympic Stadium in Athens. Set foot at the very first venue of modern Olympic Games in 1896, held at the Panathenaic Stadium, and again in 2004 Olympic Games. It started with the Panathenaic Games, an event held every four years originated thousands of years ago. The games included religious festivities, poetic and musical competition, carrot races and animal sacrifices were made. The event leads up to a grand procession to the Paternon. The games and their subsequent celebration lasted about a week. Today, each class from every school gets to do their physical education in this stadium to learn more about the history. The underground tunnel is a passage where the athletes would enter the stadium. Olympic torch is lit in Greece as a symbol of the birthplace. 